Yes! Got one! Jungle Nymph! Let's see what happens when I try and pick up the Jungle Nymph. Hey guys. Hello, mate. I'm Jack Randall. Oh, bum! See that? That was crazy cool. I'm finding every animal on the planet. Whoa. I'm in the wild. I think it's down here. Oh, whoa, please. Up close and personal. And a massive snake! Okay, there's a scorpion on my arm. This is just remarkable. Look at that. Reticulated python in the water. Come on, let's go. The jungles of Southeast Asia are home to some larger than life animals. The orangutan, the largest mammal to live in trees. But today, I'm looking for a different kind of giant animal. So we're looking for a big insect. It's called a jungle nymph. It's the largest stick insect in the world. It's a very, very hard species to find. It has incredible mimicry of a leaf. It blends in perfectly. Now the other amazing thing about this jungle nymph is that it's highly aggressive and has very sharp spiny legs which it prods into its attacker. Yep, well, I can't say I didn't warn myself. This is the story of my journey to find the giant jungle nymph and see if they have some sharp thorny legs. I'm in the exact area where these insects are known to live. You'd think being such a large insect would mean you're easy to spot. Even a great search strategy might not be enough to find the giant jungle nymph. I'm going to head along this riverbank and check every single leaf. That is where I expect to find the jungle nymph. It's hiding on one of these leaves. They're perfectly camouflaged and look just like this leaf. A bit of the spikiness, but exactly like this leaf. Very similar. I'm going to keep looking. Got him. Yes, they are an oriental whip snake. Wow. I haven't seen one of these during the day. Just look how unbelievably glossy green these snakes are. Okay, I've been looking for a jungle nymph and this snake has exactly the same strategy. Looks just like a leaf. In fact, he actually moves like a leaf. Got that kind of weird kind of swaying motion. So what he will be doing right now is moving through this bush, perfectly camouflaged, mimicking the bushes that he is in right now the leaves, the movement of those leaves, and will come across his prey using that forked tongue, always pointing out forwards because this snake thinks forwards rather than to the sides. So you can see his tongue is always pointing out, just taking in those chemical cues of where potential prey might be. That horizontal pupil though is really quite unique for snakes. They don't normally come like that, and that allows this snake to be able to see straight forward, pinpoint his prey. So we've got two different strategies going on right here. We've got this, this snake here, he's blending in so he can hunt successfully. And then you've got the jungle nymph, which I haven't quite found yet. It must be somewhere around here, which he'll be blending in specifically to stay safe. Anyway, time to release. Wow, it's so crazy. You really have to look so close. This moss that's growing on this tree here, that could have been a sick insect. There's actually another adaptation in the sick insect group to actually look like moss. This is exactly the species I'm after. Look at that leaf. 
I can't believe that. Okay, I was looking here and just literally looking at it, had no idea there was a jungle nymph hiding amongst that foliage. Completely still. Look at that abdomen there. And it's just pointed, just like the end of that leaf. Those legs there, they've got those spines. They use those spines there as a defense mechanism and prod them into a potential attacker. The main threat for them is an animal coming along and taking him as dinner. It's the second heaviest insect in the world and the heaviest stick insect in the world. I can't wait, I'm gonna try and get him down. But make sure we get some macros of this guy first so we can really see how unbelievably well camouflaged this insect is in this tree. Let's see what happens when I try and pick up the jungle nymph. Hey guy, hello mate. Clingy feet, really clingy feet. It's amazing insects. Because you don't see, oh, blimey. Blimey. So it's actually really spiky. Oh Jesus, you wouldn't believe it. It was just like punctured straight into my, my, into my thumb. Okay, it didn't cause it to bleed, but he actually went bam. The strength of that, that this leaf insect. Now he's now not in a comfortable position. He knows he's not blending in and I managed to find him. Hello mate, how are you doing? What sometimes they do, they kind of stick their bums up and that's a, a kind of almost like their, their position where they can jab their legs in as quickly as possible into a potential predator. But right now I'm being as gentle as possible. Because actually that wasn't the most pleasant experience getting a jungle nymph jabbing his leg straight into my thumb. Woo! Oh, that's it, there, he's doing his tail thing there. Just kind of curling it up. This is an absolute beast, a monster of an insect and actually very heavy. They've got the largest eggs of any insect in the world. I think roughly about a centimetre long or a one and a half centimetre long, they're eggs. This is a giant insect right here and you can only find them in these parts of a rainforest. Isn't it amazing? Now I can see him up close, you can see that, that head. And those mandibles there, they're designed for munching through leaves. They're just vegetarians. And look at these antennae moving around. They use them to sense their environment. And like all insects, they have six legs and this abdomen has been extended and that is what has been morphed into a leaf-like shape. There's probably so many of them up and down this stream, which I've completely missed. I was looking straight into that foliage there and had no idea he was there sitting still. Sometimes as well, they do this movement as if it is a leaf in the wind kind of moving around. It's incredible. That's what I would call aggressive mimicry to the point where they've evolved to blend in so well. It's so aggressive, that camouflage. It's not just for coloration, it's just for look. Even the spikiness, some of the leaves have little bits of spikes on it. It's pretty much exactly how a leaf would look. And you only evolve like that when you have incredibly strong selection pressure to be like that. There's so many predators that eat insects around here. You'd be the tastiest dinner ever. The only way to survive is by being aggressively camouflaged into its surroundings. And in this case, it looks just like a leaf. My strategy was to find one of these during the day, blending in into the leaves, and it worked. I found my jungle nymph. I think it's time to release up into the trees again. Jungle nymph, yes. Don't you just think that insects like the jungle nymph make you want to learn more about the insect world? I thought nothing could top the orchid praying mantis in terms of aggressive mimicry. But the Southeast Asian jungles keep on surprising me with more super unique animals for us to get a chance to see up close. There's lots more cool animals to come on this trip. The jungle nymph might be hard to beat, but I can't wait to find the closely related species of stick insects and see how they match up. <laughs>